Show no mercy. And and speaking of this mess of Capcom, I wanted to talk about the mess that is the PC version of the game. Yes, I can't and, speak for this at all. And, but and I know you can. It'll be my last topic. And what what the uh, what the hope going? First of all, uh, the PC version has sold. Let's see, thirty thousand copies right now. Around thirty thousand copies, which is not good. That is abysmal. It's terrible. It's, it's not. Yeah. It's, and what? It's bad. And what brought that down and like made Street Fighter V still successful on PC was crossplay. Uh, this doesn't have it because this game MVCI is on Xbox and PS4. Yep. Uh, this game doesn't. This game doesn't exist because of Sony like SF5 does. Um, so so it lacks crossplay and that killed it. The the next thing that killed it is when it came out was um, hackers. Because in the PC version, you can just take online the same team of two characters. You can take online three characters. You can play as Ultron Sigma. You and can I'm play as sure all play... the bosses. Yeah. You can, and it's not difficult. This was found out no, like yeah. the day after release. What you, I, I probably can't say how you do it, but it's super simple. And uh, and here's the thing though, in this in this last patch with the costumes. Apparently it's uh, it, it, it's broken it like it disconnects you from an online match when you try to do it um, Some of the time it's it's like inconsistent, but it, it seems like there's a system in check now. That's uh, Checking and, and trying to make sure you're not doing anything like that Which is um, good, I But guess. that is a huge issue also uh, <laughs> When the game launched a uh, voice did nothing there, there there was a voice option to like turn off uh, microphones for players uh, it didn't do anything it was always on just like it still is in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on PC there is no they way to disable mics they finally fixed that in Street Fighter 4 I believe once it stopped being games for no it was when it first came to Steam that was an issue and then they eventually yeah. fixed it but um yeah why would you I don't even think consoles have a, uh, a voice feature unless you're in like a lobby maybe Right. That's what makes it really weird. So, and then, uh, I, I've been watching the PC version and how its performance is done. And the, uh, I don't have the, uh, all-time peak of players, but it was not high. It was, it was no more than 2,000. It was not higher than 2,000. 30,000 people own it. 2,000 have not played more than once. And since launch, it has gone down. Actually, this might be it. It's 1,300. Um, and then it's gone down from there and on uh, the 12th of October it, it it's dwindled down to 200 players was the peak we're still above lawbreakers but we're still not good and uh, ever since uh, Maximilian started playing again uh, it's gone back up it actually spiked up to 1200 the other Jesus. night because he played it um, <laughs> so he's gonna single-handedly Save the PC version, uh, but in the Save, meantime, quote unquote, <laughs> quote, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, though, um, mod support. Um, this game is as open as Street Fighter V. The and, and all it takes, we can do everything that you can do in Street Fighter V in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. It just takes uh, changing chain. I can't just say it. Just changing values. But it's it's a different file system, you know. You got to adapt to it. Yeah. Um. So it's as easy to bust open as SF5. Every everything is gonna be possible. Which like was swapping. broken during the second beta. Yeah. Street Fighter Five and never fixed. The um, like, like getting character models, putting character models in. There is uh already music mods. I actually made the first music mod for the game, and I figured out how to do it just by looking at Street Fighter V tutorials. It's the exact same thing, but actually less work. Um, the textures, some people have already done. Textures are kind of simple too. It actually isn't, uh, yeah, it still is through hex, but it's like, uh, you, you edit the texture file and then you get the hex of the texture file and put it in. Uh. Um, so it's, it's kind of easier in that regard for now. Like there's still, no, 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 there is no demand. There are not enough people, there are physically not enough people playing the game on PC for there to be enough demand for mod support. Like, people want, like, 
model swaps, um, and complete voice packs. That's probably never going to happen because the demand for it is exponentially less than Street Fighter V is. It's yeah. it's a way the modding community, the people like actually working on it, um, and together is probably like five to ten people. It's that little, and then and then like you know, there's there why bother when there's only an audience of like a few hundred people for it. Yeah, there's there's no reason for there to uh, for them to put a serious effort into it other than something they just do in their spare time, and there's not much they can like you know do about that unless the game really takes off on PC. But yeah. uh, the possibility of that I have to wait and see. It's probably not gonna happen though. So yeah, like e everything is possible, but there is no demand. And not enough people that want to work on it. I, I think at the end of the day, and Capcom continues to to show this uh, full force is is just the strength of word of mouth. It's mm. it's like if you treat your customers like shit, and you release a bad product that that's been sev like severely cut back, and has not had the love and care put into it that it deserves then people are gonna talk about it and they are going to not buy your game and with Street Fighter 5 I, I feel like it wasn't quite as hard-hitting as Marvel was where it's like in the UK I don't think it broke top 10 sales on PSN in Japan I know it definitely was in like it was like between 25 and 30 in the mm -hmm. rankings and we don't have a U.S. number yet on a console sales, or I, I also don't think we have physical sales yet. No. But uh, this. Oh, we have a uh, we have a it, it was uh like the 18 spot in top 20 games for, uh, its month. Yeah, that's uh, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, like breaking you know breaking top five can be really tough, especially because Grand Theft Auto Five and 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 like Last of Us keep winning. Yeah. Like over and over again. But like if you're not even breaking top ten in the month you come out with with your big triple A Marvel, game. With the triple A game with your big Marvel crossover. It's like it's that's just sad. And mm -hmm. I, I think like this is kinda strike three for Capcom in terms of their fighting games, where it's like I don't know how they're really gonna recover because after like the success of Street Fighter 4, you have the the disappointment of, of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which eventually started getting better with arcade or not arcade edition with uh, version 2013, which was way too little, way too late. Mm -hmm. Then Street Fighter 5 releases, and two years later, our, the arcade edition gets announced, which I mean people are playing it because it has the most money being thrown at it, but no one likes the game, and I don't. I, as of right now, I haven't seen Arcade Edition doing too much to change it, and now you have Marvel, which is released, and while the gameplay is really good, every other aspect of the game just falls completely flat, and really, it's... I don't want any of these games to be bad, or to be disappointing, or I don't want to see Capcom fail or anything, but like... At a certain point, it's like you do have to hit rock bottom to realize you're doing stuff wrong, and I think that yeah. this might end up being their rock bottom because it, it seriously reflects in sales. Yeah, this is like this is abysmal mm -hmm. in terms to, of uh, sales. To put in perspective for the Japanese uh, sales, by the way, is uh, FIFA sold better. Yeah. To put that in perspective, it sold it sold way better than Marvel Infinite. So like it has like it has a top spot top spot marked, but that's how radically low it is. It's a shame, and I, I feel it every single time I start the game up and I play it for a while, and I I think it's like I, I'm having a lot of fun, but it you also you can enjoy a game and still look at its faults. And with Marvel, there are just way too many faults yeah. to look at. It's uh, it's 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 originally when we were when the game wasn't out. It was it was 
still looking like it was uh, a, mi a mix between the PR mess and just how the game looked, but it's really the those two issues. They're abysmal P PR and every aspect of it, aside from gameplay, it, it's, it sank the ship, basically. Yeah. And uh, I gotta say that after however long we've been recording, uh, it was relieving to finally get this all out. Yeah, I... Because I was waiting to record this for a long time. Yeah, I, 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 I've been definitely putting this off. I wanted to to definitely see how DLC changed everything just so <laughs> when we did finally talk about it we had like the complete picture and I think from here on out I can kind of already see the direction the game's going to be going in I don't think it's going anywhere I think that the characters that they add from here on out if we get like a second wave of characters which I hope we do um, will definitely add kind of the, the freshness that this game needs I 100% think that this game will also get the arcade edition treatment down the road. I think it absolutely needs a re-release. Um, as far as like being able to recommend this game to people, um, if if you like Marvel vs. Capcom and you like playing fighting games and, and you just need a new fighting game to kind of sink your teeth into... If you like going PS out and playing. Yeah, like going out and playing, and even uh, the online on PS4 is really good, and you'll you'll find matches like pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. um, then pick up Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. If you're a casual player just looking to kind of play through arcade mode and stuff, and story mode, just see what's going on, I can't recommend this, because arcade mode has no endings, and the story mode's not great, mm -hmm. and everything else will just constantly be an eyesore to you. And the only other thing I can say is if you were really excited about a new Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite game, but refused to buy this game on principle alone, I totally get it. I 100% understand not yeah. wanting to support um, a game that's been made with, with under these practices, because it is really shitty, for sure. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's look at how Capcom has gone in the past. As much as I really didn't want to believe it was going to keep going like this, uh, it's especially for some fighting game scenarios wait until a definitive version comes out right now right now we're we, we early access what it feels like it, yeah it, like how it should feel because we're you know they you nail down gameplay first before anything else that's how you're supposed to do it is nail down your gameplay uh, and then spruce up and polish and and add on from there that's essentially where we're at right now and just like Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 4 okay every single Street Fighter it's it's gonna be the next version of it that you're gonna wanna play or maybe even the version after that yeah um, there are so many fighting games out right now and so many fighting games coming out soon to be excited and to look forward to um, don't feel like you need to play a Capcom fighter. They they definitely have the biggest communities right now. Uh, you can buy KOF, have a great time with KOF. Finding matches in KOF will be a challenge, but there are just too many options to settle for something that you don't feel is 100% worth your money. Yeah. Um, even just this year. Uh, if Netherrealm games are your thing, and Justice came out, I guess, if you're looking for more single-player stuff, I, I can't... I In terms of single-player stuff, can't recommend that game enough. Story mode, arcade modes, gear systems, it's got a lot of shit going for it. If you need something that's a little bit more technical, you really want to get into fighting games, play Tekken 7. Uh, the last character for Blaze Blue just got released, if you want to go for a bit more hectic, a little bit more stylish, you can play Blaze Blue. You can play Guilty Gear Rev 2. Towards the end of the year, Under Knight's coming out. Next year, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle and Dragon Ball Fighters. The Eureka Fighting Game is coming out either later this year or early next year. I can't remember. There are too many options for you to settle when it comes to fighting games. So if you don't feel like Marvel is your your cup of tea, or if you just don't like the business practices behind it, uh, don't feel like you are locked into playing those games just because they are what is the those are what are the uh, biggest games right now or the games that are getting the most support tournament wise um 
find discords, find subreddits. You can find people who will play with you. Um, it just, de uh, depending on the game you pick, it depends on how much work you're going to have to put in, but there are communities everywhere. I think that perfectly concludes everything. Yep, yep. I think uh, we've wrapped up everything. And, uh, it's been the longest three days of recording of my life. Yeah, we uh, now in retrospect we should have like stopped recording in between these times to sleep and eat. But no, nah, my hard drive space was more important. Uh, there goes that. Well, thanks everyone for uh, watching this series of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Hit confirm. Um, Rick, oh, I got I got to do it. Question, question to everybody out there. Put in the comments below any two characters, one Marvel, one Capcom, that you could add to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. They don't have to have appeared in a previous game. You don't have to get super in detail. Just two characters you would really like to see added to the game that would maybe sway your purchasing decision. Or if you're already playing the game, just a team you would really want to see your play. And then go and comment that on the other two videos as well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there will be more than two videos. Who knows? Uh, for we're sure. gonna see. So, um... Thanks everyone for tuning in. Be sure to check out the other Hit Confirm episodes. We've done a bunch. We did one uh, before when Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite was it, it was already announced, but it, it, we were getting more details for the first time. Uh, go take a trip down memory lane with that one. It's a little time capsule of the past. Um, we've done Tekken 7. With our special uh, guest, Jesse. Yeah. Go check that out. Um, and anime fighters in general, which we'll have to get back to in future episodes. Oh, yeah. And there will definitely be more episodes upcoming uh, before the end of the year. Uh, for sure, for sure. If there's a game you want to see us uh, talk about, uh, let us know as well. Um, I'll talk about anything. Yeah. Um, so uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you all next time. See you next time. Great! I am the summit of perfection in this universe.